All right, hi guys. Welcome back to Fee South African Cooking. Hope you guys are well. Um, so today I'm going to be making something with um, pork sausages. Uh, so these are pork chipolata sausages. Sausages can be very boring. So I thought, let me try something different today. So in the sausages, I'm going to add rosemary, uh, some bay leaf, and I've got garlic, red onion, green chili, and some of these delicious uh, cherry tomatoes. And I might even add some cubed butternut. I don't know what I'm going to call this dish, but I'm going to make it and I'm going to serve it with mashed potato. Um, so I've got a pan on the stove. It's quite hot. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of my famous rapeseed oil. And I'm just going to fry the sausages um, till they're lightly brown. And then I will add all the other ingredients that go into it. And then I'll pop it into the oven for about 10 minutes. So let's see, I've got 12 chipolata sausages. And might just add a few more. So, what's that? About 375 grams. So, in total, maybe about 500 grams or four, 450 grams. So, we've got 12, 13, 14, 15. So, we've got 16 chipolata sausages. I'm just going to turn the heat up a bit. Washing my hands. Just wipe my hands. Do a bit of tidying up while I'm waiting for those sausages to turn lightly brown. Okay, so I'm just so I'll just turn the heat up a bit. little blob of butter there that I'm going to use. Okay, so the sausages are sizzling away here. Lovely. I'm trying to think what we're going to call this meal today. Just eating a plain fried sausages can be boring. So I thought let's, let's add some flavor and spice to this uh, sausage dish. Sausages are now lightly brown. I'm going to throw in uh, white onion. I'm going to turn the heat down a bit. So one large uh, white, or well, not white onion, one large brown onion. The outside's brown and the inside's white. I don't know why they call it brown onion, I never understand. And I'm just going to add two uh, sprigs of rosemary. And give that a stir. So I'm then going to put it into a preheated oven for about 10 minutes. Um, not too short, I'm going to add the butternut of the side <laughs> as I'm going along. 
but I'm definitely going to add the cherry tomatoes. So that this looks good. Okay, so lovely. I'm now going to add in a little blob of butter. I don't want to break the sausages. And then I'm going to add optional two chilies. You don't have to add the chili. You don't want to, so I've just got two there. Um, and then I'm going to add the red onion, so one large red onion. So I chopped, kind of. <laughs> uh, I'll just really slice that a bit. Oh, look at those lovely colors. Look at that. It's really pretty, isn't it? slice that part so lovely colors just remove that one and re-slice it I don't like it when it's big like that lovely another one Just slicing the other half of the onion and bring it in. So this, I'm going to let it fry off until the onions are lightly brown, and then I will add it, uh, put it into the oven for um, 10 to 15 minutes, and then it'll be ready to serve with our delicious, uh, yummy mash. Sorry, I'm messing a bit but that's cooking for you you have to mess sometimes and then you just tidy up after yourself lovely with those lovely colors isn't that pretty yeah sausages can be a lovely quick and easy meal in the middle of the week and it also can be boring when you just got to eat it fried so it's always nice to add a bit of flavor all right, so I've got four cloves of garlic, which I am slicing um, into small slices. And I'm just throwing it in. I'm just going to slice it like that. Quick and easy way of cooking. Slice, slice, slice. Okay. Toss that a pan full of chipotle sausages. Lovely, really nice. Lovely smell coming from this pot or from this pan. Just going to turn the heat up a bit. So while that's uh, still busy frying off. I'm going to get my salt out of the cupboard and a little bit of pepper and I'm going to just break my little tomatoes get them ready so that I can just throw them in and okay. Okay, so I think I'm now just going to add the tomatoes in. You see all those lovely colours. Okay, so there's the lovely tomatoes that have been washed. I'm just going to put them in like that. We've got all those lovely pretty colours. And I'm not sure how many, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, so 16 sausages, um, 16 cherry tomatoes, 
of choice. Okay. Beautiful. Look at all those lovely, lovely colors. And then I'm just going to add just one green bay leaf in there and then I'm going to add a little bit of salt so a little, very little salt some black pepper and a little bit of chili powder just about half a teaspoon of chili powder okay and then I'll pop it into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes and it will be ready to serve. I might not add the butternut, I'm not too sure at this point, so I'll see, maybe I'll cook the butternut on the side and throw it in later. Thank you guys. I'll show you the finished dish when it's ready. All right guys, so this lovely sausage, recorded sausage, tomato and butternut medley with rosemary, I don't know what to call it, I'll figure out a name when I post it on YouTube but there we go guys it looks absolutely delicious and I will serve this with mashed potatoes or you can serve it with pasta or you can serve it with um, uh, mashed sweet potato or even eat it with rice or even by itself it looks and smells amazing guys so thank you again for um, watching my YouTube videos Thank you to all the followers and to all the subscribers and if you haven't subscribed just hit that subscribe button and comment below if you've tried this and if you've got any questions to ask me I'm always available to answer them. Thank you guys, take care and see you soon. Bye!